Hey everyone, the Sneaky DX Girly. Welcome to my second channel, DX Girly Likes Toys, where we talk all about toys. <laughs> I gotta say that every video, guys. Um, today is a doll review. We're reviewing a pull-up, and I'm super excited for this doll because if you've watched my last couple of reviews, I've mentioned how much I want to review her. Um, I feel like she is a fairly new release, but uh, she was released a couple of months ago, and I feel like everyone in the English-speaking YouTube pull-up community just about uh, has already reviewed her, but I really want to review her too because I want to open her up because I've been really excited for this doll, and it is uh, Pull-Up Optical Alice. Um, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love the Alice in Wonderland dolls. I know that some people feel the uh, exact opposite way and hate the, <laughs> that they hate that Groove puts out so many Alice in Wonderland dolls, but I really love them. I think they're adorable. Um, they're right up my alley, and this one is particularly gorgeous. Her box is like really cool. It's um, a little bit different than the older style boxes. Um, like it doesn't have the big P on the side. You can see that the um, decorations on the side here aren't exactly like typical pull-up box style. So I just wanted to show you that because I thought that was really cool how her box is a little bit different than the typical uh, pull-up box. But um, yeah, let me get her out of here. All right, so here she is out of the box. Uh, before we go into the review, I just want to mention, obviously, <laughs> I kind of misspoke before. Obviously not everyone in the English-speaking YouTube pull-up community owns her yet. It just kind of felt that way because um, I wanted her so bad and then like uh, Amoka Crush, uh, the Pull Up Doll Club, Vega Loves Collecting, they all got them right when she came out and I really wanted her so bad. And I was like, no, everyone has her but me. But um, yeah, there are quite a few. I Shout out to all the people in um, the Pull Up English speaking, because I, I can't really communicate with all the, I know there's a huge French speaking, pulp community on YouTube and I believe Russian I think um, but obviously I can't really communicate with all of them but all of the other uh, English speaking YouTubers that do pull up videos they're all um, awesome people and I really uh, love being friends with them uh, the majority of them are in the Amoka Crush uh, Facebook group. If you collect pull-ups and you're not already in that group, I highly recommend it because you get to talk with so many people that have such a passion for these dolls and they are, um, it's just a great place to share and um, kind of be enthused about the hobby. So definitely recommend that. Um, and then, yeah. So um, here is Optical Alice. She is quite lovely. Um, right off the bat, I did have some issues with her. Um, her wig, let's go over that first. I know other people, I watched other people's reviews and they said her wig is nice. I don't know if I got uh, just a kind of poor one or what, but mine is really thin at the top, if you can see that. And when I took her out and kind of ran my fingers through her hair, she had a ton of fallout, I, I guess you would call it. Uh, tons and tons of hairs coming off just when I did this. It was all over my shirt when I took her out. Um, tiny, tiny little hairs um, and big, big long ones, like clumps of it. And um, so it was kind of, I don't know, I felt weird. I kind of didn't like that. And it is kind of like frizzy feeling and rough feeling right in here. It looks nice on camera, but it is a bit um, frizzy and kind of rough feeling in the back. It's not the smoothest wig. Uh, now, 
Obviously, that can differ from doll to doll, and if other people have gotten ones with good wigs, um, that's obviously a great thing, but my particular one is kind of uh, not so nice. Her bangs are also cut a little bit uneven. They kind of go at a slope like this, um, but they look all right. I mean, overall, she looks okay. It's just if you go closer, especially in person, to her details, she um, just does not have the best wig. Um, now she comes with a bow, and this bow I also have a little bit of a problem with. It's really thick. Like, in her stock photos, now I knew it was um, thick from other people's review videos, but in her stock photos, it almost looks like it lies flatter on her head, but as you can see, it's really, it's stuffed, it has plush filling in it, and it's kind of really 3D. And I don't think I really like that. Like sitting on top of her head, it really sticks up a lot. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that. It is really pretty. It's got um, obviously the black and white stripes. It has lace on the side here. A little, um, little. it has actually a checkered board print uh, on the uh, red and black ribbon right here has this little crown detail that hangs in the front with pearls and a gold chain. It really, It's really pretty, but I don't like that stuffed. Now again, that's just me. You may love it, uh, but I would prefer it not to be. It also has these little clips on the underside that slide into her hair. If you go like this, you can snap them and um, it opens so you can slide it into onto place in her hair. Um, if you see what I mean with the, see how it looks like it f lies a bit flatter on her head in this picture? I think it's just the angle, but um, like in owner pictures and everything, it kind of sits on top of her head a bit weird. Maybe I can play with it a bit and get it to sit uh, nicely on her head to my liking. <laughs> but um, yeah, here's her card anyways. And she also comes with this little key on a ribbon. Um, I've seen people tie this on her wrist. It's just like a little metal key, gold, with a, um, what do you call this print? It's kind of like a, like a picnic type print. What is that called? If you know, tell me in the comments below. Um, on the tip of my tongue I can't remember um, but let's go over the doll herself so um, so she has this really really nice stock um, let me make sure I oh, see the black bow on her collar is supposed to be straight and mine did not come that way let me see if I can fix it Um, sorry guys. It's gonna take some finagling. But she has this um, little collar piece that goes around in the back here. And um, I believe it attaches with Velcro. And it has this black bow on the front with a, uh, in ribbon, with a little red ribbon on the front of it. And this tiny little um, charm on it that is a red, it's a gold heart with red filling and this little gem at the center here, if you can see that. Um, then she has, um, a really pretty dress. It is black and red. It's got this ruching kind of at the sleeves with red ribbons and little pearls. It has a high collar, as you can see. And then, um, she has her apron, obviously. If she's Alice, she's got to be wearing her apron. It is a black and white checkerboard type pattern. Um, it's got this band in the front here with uh, red and white piping. And you can see that all around the edge here. And 
It does not go over her shoulders, surprisingly enough, uh, or does it? Oh no, it does. It just has the um, straps to it, if you can see right here, are just kind of blend in with the dress that she's wearing underneath it. So, um, and that comes down like this. It has this little red and black bow at the side. And in the back, let me see. Mine just came kind of twisted, guys. I don't know if just mine has issues or what. But she's got this big um, black and white bow in the back. It has kind of stitching right here to make it stick. And it kind of looks odd. But, I mean, it still looks good. Um, and then that closes in the back with Velcro. And then she also has this... Um, chain which isn't really attached to anything let me get her hair fixed here um, this chain is just hanging at her waist and it has a little die on it and our dice and um, the same heart that's on her collar here except with white enamel filling and those just kind of hang at her waist they look really pretty um, and then her her dress underneath, you can see, has this lace detailing at the bottom here. Oh, it's got a little fuzzy. Um, it has this lace across this part right here, and then these two black bows with white pearls, and it's got these layers in the bottom. This layer is kind of, it's like a black with white stitching in it, but it comes off as gray. And it has these little polka dots on it, if you can see that. And then underneath there is another layer of this. And that's all sewn together to kind of give it a faux, faux layer look. Um, and then underneath she doesn't have any tool or anything. She just has these um, black and white stockings. I just watched um, Angie from Mocha Crush's video about all the different Alice dolls and she pointed out something that I didn't notice before either. Um, most of the Alice dolls all have striped stockings in different colors. Um, but yeah, she's got hers in her obvious color scheme here. Don't mind her foot that's missing a shoe. It fell off when I was trying to fiddle with her hair earlier. Um, but these are nice and thick. They're really nice. They're not too thin. I really like them. Um, so, oops, sorry, my cat's jumping on the table. Um, so yeah, and then her shoes just look like this. They're kind of uh, sticky type rubbery feeling with a white bow. Um, I believe these are the, actually the same shoes as the um, Alice Dujardin shoes, except obviously in a different color scheme and it doesn't have the little rows. Um, glued to the top of it there but those are them now let's talk about let's take our other shoe off in case it falls off during this um, fix your wig a bit let's talk about her face up because it is really pretty she obviously has a very very pale skin tone um, it is paler than the natural girls than like the Mio kits that come in the natural shade they call it um, she is quite pale. I don't own any of the um, pale kits or fair kits to kind of compare them, but she is quite, quite pale. Um, I would liken her to um, Wilhelmina's skin tone. I'd have to look at them side by side, except she's a bit rosier because she has a bit rosier of a face up. Um, she's obviously got all this blushing on her cheeks that's really, really pretty. Um, and then she's got also got some blushing up here on her forehead Between her eyes if you can see that it makes her look really cute and sweet. I really really like it. She has um, These they're like gray eyebrows with some um, Thin lines. I'm not really sure if you can see that on my camera, but they're really pretty quite thick. I like that um, and here is her eye makeup detail. 
She's got some defined bottom lashes and then some shading at the top with white and black lines. Very pretty. I also quite like this little line that comes right here. It's kind of different and I like that. Um, she's got a nice pink flush to her lips here, very natural looking with the gloss. And then her eyes are, um, they look black in this lighting um, on camera, but they're very dark blue um, that just kind of shines if you f have the light in the, in the right place. Um, I think if she was outside, it would show up more. And then she's got all these little shines in her eyes. Uh, they're kind of, they're not obviously not a natural looking eye, a realistic looking eye. So because they've got all these little um, shines in them, especially that little star type one. But they're really, really pretty. I really like them. It's quite nice. So yeah, that is Optical Alice. I am happy with her overall, even though she's got some, my, well, my particular doll has some issues. Um, she is still quite lovely and I'm going to love having her on my shelf and taking some photos of her. So yeah, there are a couple things I want, oh, by the way, she comes with a black stand. There are a couple other things that I want to talk about, um, at the end of this video here. First of all, I want to apologize. I hadn't signed into my toy account here on YouTube because as I say at the beginning of every video, um, it is not my main account and like when I watch other people's videos, I use my main DX Girly account and um, I signed into my this account, my DX Girly Likes Toys account the other day and happened to go to my dashboard and I had not been receiving email notifications for everyone's comments for like the last month, over a month. And I am so, so sorry that I haven't replied to all those comments yet. Um, I was, I just felt like such a jerk when I saw that. So um, I am going to go back and read all of your comments um, today when I get this video uploaded. And I really do apologize. I don't know why um, YouTube stopped sending me emails about the comments, but um, I'm gonna try to sign into that account more frequently and answer um, people's comments and questions and everything. So I really do apologize for that. Um, don't think that I was ignoring you on purpose. I just literally had no idea. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, oh goodness, I can't remember now. Give me a sec, guys. I remember now. Okay, so I wanted to ask you guys. I do, um, obviously, these doll reviews on my channel. I also have... Um, seven Mio kits now, custom dolls, that have been made. Um, three of them have face-ups by an artist I commissioned, and then the rest of them I actually did myself. And then they have um, outfits on from different Etsy shops and stuff. So I was wondering um, if you guys could tell me if you would be interested in seeing um, kind of reviews of those dolls in um, videos. I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in. I also want to know if you would be interested in seeing like Etsy hauls or like what I bought this month on Etsy for my dolls type videos. I know the Pull Up Doll Club does, does that kind of video. Um, I've also seen Angie from Mocha Crush do that type of video. Um, I think, oh, what's her name? MT Pull-Ups Dreams, who recently subscribed to me, so thank you, hon. Um, I've watched your videos for a long time, and it was so nice to see you commenting on subscribing to my videos. Um, when I went back and noticed all those comments on my videos, I saw that you had commented a bunch of times, so thank you. Um, that was really quite touching to me because um, bigger channels, when they notice my channel, notice me, senpai. Um, <laughs> It kind of feels really nice. Um, 
so yeah, if you would like to see any of that type of video on my channel, please, 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 please let me know in the comments below if I get um, a couple of people or even like one person that says they want to see it that watched this far into the video because I know this was a long video. Um, I will do some videos on that. It is really hard for me to film right now at this house, but we're actually looking um, into moving soon. So hopefully I'll have some more free time to film soon. Um, I do still have uh, 16 other pull-up dolls, or pull -up family dolls I should say, uh, to open. So I will get to those at some point and I will uh, eventually be doing more um, like different type of doll reviews like Barbies and Descendants and all kinds of different things that I have that I haven't opened yet. Um, that I want to review on my channel and I will get back into the blind boxes because like I said I have bought a ton of them already. I know I haven't done those videos uh, since December and that's really bad, but um, Yeah, I will get back into those soon It's just really hard to film with this house because I get so little time in the house by myself so I think that's everything I want to say um, at the end of this video, let me know what you think in the comments below if you watched this far. Um, oh, and thank you guys! I now have over 500 subscribers on this channel. Yes! Um, I had wanted to do a giveaway at 500 subscribers, but, um, I don't have the funds for it right now. Um, so I may, um... I'm either going to push it up to a higher subscriber number or just kind of delay it a bit. Um, but I do want to do a sort of giveaway. Um, I know a lot of my subscribers are pull-up fans, so I think my first giveaway is either going to be um, like some pull-up clothing or like a Mio kit or something like that. Um, I think when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to actually try to give away a full stock boxed pull up. Um, I haven't decided whether it's going to be open to international or yet not. It's going to depend on whether I can afford it at that time. Sorry, my cat is rubbing her face <laughs> on the tripod. Um, so yeah. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you for listening if you got this far in the video. And um, I will hopefully see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!